Technique number two. So I'm doing the same thing. Again, he's pushing his arms out a little bit as I do this. As soon as I hit, my opposite hand is going to snake under my arm. So I'm going to do like a bilgi, a spear hand, under my arm. Now, we do drills where I'm going to the eyes with this. I'm just shooting through. I'm going to hook his hand and lop sow. Here's my hit. I'm pulling this up. I'm trying to get his shoulder up off the ground. Again. As soon as he defends with that arm, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lop sow with that. Again, I'm getting his shoulder up and I'm crossing his arms. I'm not going to cross his face. I'm pulling his arm down next to my leg or down next to my knee. And this arm, same thing, down next to my knee. So I've got his elbows almost together, trapped. You get loose, put your arm loose. So it makes it much more difficult for him. Again, slowly. So I've got his arms up, over, up, and trapped down. So his arms are kind of like this instead of down. I don't want to, I don't want to do this. Get your arms loose. You can start to work that loose really easy. If I get it up off the ground, so they're both kind of up, you probably can't see this well, but his shoulders are right against his face. So it makes this difficult. Now, let's say that he's strong and I feel him starting to work his way out. I just roll straight into my arm bar. techniques. So that's some trapping concepts, so Wing Chun from our ground and pound position.